I wasn't a man of two faces. You are the only one I can trust. The war was ending. Yo! And I awaited my new assignment. My protege. Jesus. So where are we going? To the next harbor on your CIA voyage. America. From the all-new espionage thriller series, The Sympathizer, based on Viet Hanh Nguyen's Pulitzer Prize-winning novel of the same name, it's a satire about the struggles of a half-French, half-Vietnamese communist spy during the final days of the Vietnam War. Yes, and here to tell us more about the series, we are so excited to have with us in studio Canadian co-showrunner and executive producer Don McKellar and lead actor Hua Shonde. You nailed it. You mean you're right. good and you got it. Thank you got it. Uh, we're <laughs> thrilled to have you both here. Thank Congratulations you. on the new series. Uh, Don, I, I read that you were initially quite intimidated to turn this well, into a series. So obviously something changed your mind. Well, I was intimidated because it's a famous book. It, it had just won the Pulitzer Prize when it was given to me. And it's always scary with a famous book because when they're famous books, they're usually famous because they're good books. And, you know, you, you don't want to turn it into disappoint the readers. It's pretty well known. But then I... I, first of all, then I heard Park Chan-wook, uh, the great South Korean director, was interested. I've worked with him before. We wrote a script together, and he's really got an amazing visual language that was similar to the voice of the book, and I thought, okay, I can see it. I can make it work. All right, so let's talk about that director again, because mm -hmm. he's done some great work. He's best known for Old Boy and yeah. Decision to Leave. What was it like working with him? Well, like I said, I worked with him before, and I yeah. knew that we worked together well, and I liked him. Uh, Were you intimidated at all? <laughs> well, uh, you know, at first, of course. Okay. But uh, I think everyone else, because I knew him a little bit, but I, I, he does have a slightly intimidating air to him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't speak... He's a man of, like, very little words. He does, because he yeah. mostly speaks Korean, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. But, I mean, you know, as an actor, when you've watched all these movies, you know, and, uh, you know, he's revered as uh, an auteur... Um, of, of our generation um, and, you know, being as sort of uh, inexperienced in that world uh, as much as I am, I stepped on... You, you're not experienced in the world of espionage? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I, I guess I stepped onto the set with all these people, especially Park, and knowing how he works, he's such a visual storyteller, I, I was worried a lot of the time how I'd be able to fit into his world. But, you know, he's very supportive and, you know, over the course of working with him, he's just been such a lovely um, uh, sort of director to get to, get to know. And um, he's a very specific, detailed, oriented, uh, oriented director. He gives you all these dots on the board and he mm -hmm. gets you to connect them. And it took me a while to figure that yes. out, but once I got to that stage, I, I, I felt like, you know, we were just in sync, like, doing one-take scenes, and uh, I'd love to be able to do uh, season two again with you. Yeah, let's, let's, let's <laughs> talk about that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, for people who don't know, you play the lead role, the captain. Right. So uh, tell us about this character and then how you prepared for this role. Uh, look, it, I did a, just a deep dive into the accounts of Vietnamese um, experiences and sort of perspectives during the war, and I had to really learn that part of the history, which is all too often not really told to us, you know? Um, and part of doing that was even just learning the language again. You know, I have a very basic grasp of Vietnamese. I am of Vietnamese heritage, but I didn't grow up speaking it, which is shameful, really. Um, I, I, it, I really appreciated doing this uh, project in that because it's taught me to learn, speak Vietnamese again. And they threw me, you know, <laughs> HBO and A24 threw me into this two-week crash course of learning yeah. to speak and learning to read and learning to write uh, Vietnamese again. And um, honestly, you know, learning words like dialectic materialism, because, public execution, because, because of he, the character. He plays, oh, a okay. yeah, 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 yeah. he plays a communist spy, right? Yeah. So he's undercover. Uh, so he has to know a lot of lingo that isn't Political common. Political ideologies talk, yeah. and words that... You know, I've never even said in English, yeah, to be honest. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. You also got to work with actor, Rob, sorry, Academy Award winner. That's yes. right, we have Robert, to say We that. have to make sure every single time it's in his contract. Um, yeah. Robert Downey Jr., what was that experience like? Honestly, I kick myself every day, you know, that I actually got the opportunity to do that with him. Um, I, I, it was like the fourth day of filming that I got to meet him um, in his costume and makeup and everything and honestly wow. he walked up to me he's placed his hand on my shoulder and he was basically so supportive and generous and he said you know we're gonna have fun with this and uh honestly over the next six weeks of shooting um he plays four different he plays very distinct characters yeah. mm -hmm. 
Um, but sometimes you just forget that there, there's, there's, there are these very distinct characters that you have to work with. And a lot of the time I found myself just having fun with these characters and then trying to remember, hang on, I've got a story to tell. I've got different relationships <laughs> yeah, with these characters. With all the, um, yeah. Remember who you are and remember who these people yeah. are. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, that is a huge name. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but Don, yeah. you were also reunited on this project with someone we know and love very well. And you know and love very well, Sandra yes. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. what was that like to work with her again? I mean, it's amazing. Uh, Sandra's a friend of mine. She's a really close friend. But I didn't cast her because she's a friend of mine. I have to make that clear. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the author of the book said, this part, Ms. Mori, my dream casting would be Sandra Oh. And I went, hmm, I think maybe I can, I think I have her on, yeah. I can text her. You can her. text her. <laughs> and she, she got a response that night. Okay, let's do it. So, um, yeah, she's amazing. She's really good. And uh, she's just a joy in the set. She plays this liberated woman. It mm -hmm. takes place in 75. Mm -hmm. She's sort of free love. Mm -hmm. Progressive, empowered, which are the kind of yeah. the kind of woman that this guy growing up in Vietnam had not encountered before. Uh -huh. yeah. oh. So uh, it's amazing. I mean, as an actor, you know, I'm already fanboying, uh, you know, Sandra Oh when I met her. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't really hard to have that, you know, relationship. Have yeah. A, yeah, yeah, I have a, a, a relationship with her, which I'm sure you guys will see if you, yes. you know, watch the Say show. Say no more. That's the tease. <laughs> that sounds yeah. spicy. That's the teaser. <laughs> it wasn't hard to fall in love with Sandro. Oh, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. And same goes for both of you. And uh, we oh. cannot wait for the rest of the public to watch the yeah. series as well. So Don and Hua, thank you so much for joining thank us you today. So thank, you. thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. We want to tell you about premiere date. The Sympathizer premieres on April 14th. That is on Crave at 9 p.m., so set your alarms. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.